Good news, everyone. Aina 5 Ballistic Buzzard Release Candidate 1 is live, is ready to download and ready to be tested. In this release, we fixed a few bugs, we added a few interesting features, but mostly we greatly improved the user interface of the iNav configurator. First thing first, let's go through the list of what's new, what changed and what we removed. First of all, the new targets. We added new Mambas, we added new Matex, we added new Holybros and other interesting flight controllers. Then there is a new landing detection that should greatly improve the auto disarm functionality after landing. And what's very important, we fix the problem with the invalid settings. You know, you flash the board, you do something and then half of your settings are invalid because they have just crappy values. With INA5 this should not happen anymore. Also, INA5 got the improved output management. Right now you have the option to assign all outputs as servos or all outputs as motors. This means that the Octa configuration should right now work on more flight controllers than before. The configurator mixer page got a series of the super nice improvements. The servo color labels and the option to configure props out prop in configuration from the mixer page is a very cool thing. Finally, and I cannot say how happy I am, we finally have the magnetometer configuration tool. You no longer have to guess the orientation of the magnetometer. You just have a very nice graphical interface when you enter everything and the configurator saves the configuration for you. Awesome! Plus, the PID tuning page will right now get a series of slider for more intuitive PID tuning. And finally, you get the option to connect to your flight controller over the Bluetooth low energy, TCP and UDP protocols. Of course, like I mentioned before, we also removed some stuff. The PC8-9685 servo driver, which was connected to the I2C and nobody was really using that, it's gone. Please use the SBUS output as the better alternative for the PCA servo driver. Separate gyro and accelerometer alignment options are also removed. The only option you should set the orientation of your board is with the board alignment. Those settings made sense with the multi wee times when you just had the accelerometer put on the separate board somewhere, you were building your own flight controller. Right now, board orientation is 100% enough to set up everything. The GPS glitch detection is gone. It had some use cases with all GPS modules that right now nobody really uses. And on top of that, we removed some of the MSP frames. And that means that if you are using a third party application to configure your INAV, the application might no longer work. Luckily, the INAV configurator and NWP tools are configured to work with the new changes and we also notify the speedb developers that the change happened in case of other applications unfortunately we cannot guarantee that they will work with inaf 5 and that was the short list of what change and what you might expect in the inaf 5 bear in mind the full list is much 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 longer and in the future i will have separate videos for some of those amazing features if you would like to know more about inaf and flight controllers here's the video for you. I'm Paweł Spychalski, thank you very much for watching and like always, happy flying!